Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How are ya? I'd like to welcome you all to the Holiday Inn in Bolton for night of all action mixed martial arts brought to you by your promoter Chris Clark. This is Budo 7. Tonight's show brought to you by the Whiskey Wolf. Before we get the fights underway, your officials at cage side this evening. Your judges, Rob McLaughlin, James Reese, and Adam Linda. And your referee in charge of action, Mark Woodard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, an official introduction's complete. You're gonna have to make some noise if you wanna see some fights. You wanna see some fights? First bout of the day, amateur rules competition. Held in the featherweight division under 65.8 kilograms. First fighter making his way to the cage and into the blue corner. Christian Scott from Norway against the local boy, Shawab Yousaf. We've seen Shawab win twice already in the past. Yeah, he's uh, he's coming off a good win in November up against uh, Liverpool's uh, Jay Clay. Yeah. Uh, Christian, uh, fresh off a visit to Vegas where he represented Team Norway in the uh, UK MMF uh, fight. So stylistically, it should be a very, very good matchup. Yeah, he's got a good record, two wins, two losses. He's finished both of his wins as well, so he's the kind of guy you know that can go for a finish. And exactly. automatically, he's working from the guard. He's got, you know, uh, half, a, half a sort of rubber guard. He's riding his, his legs up high. Yeah, good sign of an aggressive guard game. He is being very, very active, although he's taking shots there. Oh, nice kick. M missed, but uh, Youssef got that range, got that ability to throw head kicks. Oh, oh nice spinning, spinning yeah. kick. Yeah, good spinning heel attempt. Show it with the takedown. Very so, active fight so far. Oh, Christian and the Norwegians the got uh, Yousaf's back. His Hooks in, blows. big shots. Show him covering up here. He probably is going to have to start doing something. Yet yeah, the one advantage he's got here at the moment is uh, Skugmu's only got one of the hooks in. He's just managed to sink the next one in. You yeah. know, and this is a fight finishing position. You got somebody's back at this stage of a fight. You know, you can finish it. He's looking for that yep. rear naked choke. Shoeb's taking shots, but he's, he, is, he does look quite relaxed, although it is, it is getting to the point where the choke may be on. Well, it was, it was across the jaw, so it was probably hard to finish. You can finish him from there. It can put a lot of pressure on the jaw. And some people, it, it's too much for them to take. Christian just has to be careful of the back of the head. Mark Woodard giving him a warning. Yeah. But this is a turning point in the round as well. 
you know, it was fairly even up until this point. But right now, if all Christian does is just just see the end of this round in this position, he'll have got that round in the bag. Absolutely. So he's, he's doing a good job at the moment of covering up. He's taking shots, though. Not many are getting through the gloves, but he is going to have to do a little bit more than he is doing. Yeah. He's managed to get rid of one of those hooks. It's good work. A couple of big shots going in. Yeah, still, still raining blows in. Yeah. Troy looking to try and turn out though, but Christian just smothering him, absolutely relentless. He's trying to, it looks like trying to get his second hook in. Shoib's trying to trip, well, he has trapped the arm. Yep. He's not really using it though. If he's going to trap that arm, he needs to be rolling his opponent to this side. Trying to stand up there. He's got both hooks back in though now. Yeah. And shots are raining down from Christian. Mark's having a good look at it. He's probably not going to finish the fight from here. But certainly, it, you know, it makes for a dominating round. So he turned in. Oh, show it. Yeah, he is. He's, he's back to his feet anyway. He's now trying to put some pressure on Christian, and he's raining knees in. Yeah, some big shots going in from both sides, and, though. And Christian firing back. This is a great scrap. Oh! oh! He missed the shot, and he gave his back. But, you know, when you look at that, you can't do anything but say, you know, that round has got to go to the Norwegian. Yeah. Absolutely. A uh, fairly dominant round. Nice show of uh, respect at the bell there with a hug. Um, looking forward to more of that in round two. It didn't. It wasn't representative of uh, Yusef's capabilities, you know. No, he is. Uh, we are used to seeing. Well, to date, very, very dominating performance from Shoaib. So it'll be interesting to see how he adapts and overcomes this now in the second. So we've got several fighters over from Norway. Uh, this evening, yeah, this is the first. I think we've got four. On. We've got four in total. Yes, yep. uh, two from well, one from the same gym that Christian is currently in the cage, and two from the world-renowned Frontline Academy. In fact, we've got Tian Olsen in the corner here, who will be fighting in, you know, four or five fights. It's the seconds out. Referee Mark Woodard clearing the corners from the cage. And here we go with round two. Hopefully there's a, as much action in the next as there was in the last. Here we go, round two underway. Touch your gloves. Let's see how this one plays out now. Nice kick comes in from Youssef. A good leg kick, arm body kick. Yep. Christian's almost got that Lyoto Machida karate stance. Yeah. Oh, oh that was that jump, was extra special. Jumping spin kick. He did say he was coming over to do nothing but impress. He's oh, he got caught. Oh, he took me over. It was a massive Show knee. Yusuf. TKO. It was a massive knee that started that. Second round two, your winner by way of TKO, Rick Honor, Joe Ibiza. Put your hands together for a tough opponent, Christian Skagbull. 